Dementia is a general state. It's like saying that the person is not performing as well as before. Cognitively and functionally, there, there are limitations already, but it does not state the cause of the state. So dementia is not really a diagnosis. It is um, a confirmation of the state of the person that he is deteriorated. And so we don't stop there. We have to look for the cause. That's why we do um, workups. And that's where we discover if a person has the different diseases that cause dementia. So there can be Alzheimer's disease, uh, which is the most common still. And then there's dementia with Lewy bodies, Parkinson's disease, dementia, and so on. There are 12 um, established risk factors for dementia, just uh, published in the uh, recent years. And, uh, well, among them would be lack of education. Education is so protective to the brain that, that we must make sure that people get that. At least secondary education would be important because it protects us from the decline in the function of the brain. Um, hypertension, diabetes, uh, obesity, smoking, drinking. Um, two drinks a day would be harmful to the brain. Um, of course, traumatic brain injury, so frequent head trauma, that would be bad. Also, air pollution now has been identified as one of the risk factors for dementia. Telltale signs would be um, disorientation, repetitive nature of people, so not knowing the dates or the day, um, missing appointments, misplacing things and eventually losing them, what may be more obvious in the person is change in behavior. And change in behavior in the elderly is also a telltale sign. So if there is um, lack of interest in things, uh, or if the person becomes more emotional, or irritable, or paranoid, don't think that nagpapapansin, or matandalang, or probably depressed. There may be something that is present under un, that underlies these manifestations. It's true that aging is the strongest and most established risk factor for dementia, but not all elderly people are bound to develop that. I think a clarification would be necessary also for the term ulianin, which people would often mistake as part of old aging. So I think um, the stigma there should be removed and um, that dementia is not an illness that is psychiatric. It is a neuropsychiatric condition wherein the brain shrinks and uh, the changes in the brain causes cognitive, functional, and behavioral changes. So what makes the brain shrink? There are different types of uh, dementing illnesses. So the most common would be the neurodegenerative type um, of which Alzheimer's disease belongs. And um, in Alzheimer's disease and the usual type of neurodegenerative illness, there are toxic proteins that de develop in the brain and they deposit and accumulate in the brain. And eventually, those proteins kill the cells. And that's why eventually the brain shrinks. If it's neurodegenerative, it is irreversible. So Alzheimer's disease is irreversible. So if, for example, the dementia is caused by vitamin B12 deficiency or, or low folate, or there are manifestations of dementia that's actually caused by depression. So if these are the causes of the dementia of the patient, then definitely the condition can be reversed. Now, if we're talking about the neurodegenerative disorder such as Alzheimer's disease, um, it is treatable but incurable. Now, in the Philippines, of course, we have societies. And um, one society that I belong to, the Dementia Society of the Philippines, we have conventions, we have uh, outreach programs to increase the, um, the capacity of physicians, even non-neurologists and non-psychiatrists to detect dementia. So we teach them screening tools so that they know how to screen in their clinics and if needed, to refer to professionals that's um, within their uh, vicinity. 
So our website is www.dementia.org.ph. We don't stop at the clinical signs, we work up because we have to be sure. Because if we misidentify the diagnosis or the cause of the illness, then if it's reversible, then we miss it.